boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a brand new discussion for Pokemon Journeys, and holy shit, this is pretty damn massive, so let's get into this. So navigating our way to Cerebi.net, we have ourselves the following news. A new poster has been released for the Pokemon anime. This poster is to commemorate the change in time slot for the anime starting October 9th, 2020, and features a variety of Pokemon, including Zacian, Zamazenta, and Mewtwo. It also confirms that starting October 23rd, a special arc of the anime nicknamed Sword and Shield Chapter will air. This features Ash and Go meeting Zacian and Zamazenta in Slumbering Wield, the inclusion of Rose and Olina, and investigate an incident in the Galar region. And this right here, guys, is the poster, and my god, does it ever look beautiful. Now, upon inspecting this poster, there's a few details that I want to touch base with you guys on. The first detail that I want to talk about would be the fact that Ash now has Lucario and Go now has Cinderace. So I'm definitely sensing that Ryo and Raboot, respectively, are going to be evolving rather soon. We can also see in the top right-hand corner, Chloe petting the head of an Eevee, so I'm wondering if that is a hint towards the possibility of Chloe getting an Eevee in this series. We can also see the likes of Morpico and Marshtomp below Chloe and Eevee, so I'm also wondering if perhaps maybe those Pokemon will be in the care of Chloe as well. We can also see Zapdos as well to the left of Ash, which I'm wondering if it is the same Zapdos that we are going to be seeing in episode 40 of the series. We also, interestingly enough, see Dracovish here, so... I am heavily curious to see if Dracovish is either going to be caught by Ash or Go, or if it's going to have some sort of significant appearance in a future episode. I am very much intrigued to see how that would go down. We also see the likes of Mew, which is obviously the end goal for Go. Now, we also see Suicune here as well, which is also quite curious. I wonder if this is perhaps the same Suicune that is advertised in, of course, that planetarium special for Pokemon Journeys in Japan. Now, something that I am very, very curious about is why on Earth is Mewtwo in this poster? Is it perhaps there for promotional purposes, or could this Pokemon actually make a significant appearance in the future of Pokemon Journeys? And last but not least, we have ourselves Zacian and Zamazenta, which are obviously the poster Pokemon for Sword and Shield, and they are advertised in this news. Now, we also have ourselves a few teaser images taken right from the anime. We see Zacian and Zamazenta in their uncrowned forms. God, I cannot wait to see how that scene plays out. I'm getting goosebumps already, guys. Now, the next image I want to showcase here is very interesting. We have ourselves Chairman Rose and Olina inside the Hammerlock Energy Plant, and we can see that this gigantic ball is intact. Now, this, of course, is the same ball that actually broke in the Pokemon Sword and Shield storyline, where Chairman Rose was trying to bring about the darkest day in Galar by trying to revive Eternatus. So, this scene right here, I believe, it depicts events prior to the darkest day actually taking place. And lastly, we have ourselves an image of Charizard and Champion Leon battling a Gigantamax Scorch which is just absolutely incredible. That right there is definitely, definitely going to be a scene to drum up a lot of gigantic hype. Now, what remains to be seen is why on earth is this Gigantamax Scorch suddenly on a rampage? I wonder if that right there is a sign of things to come prior to the buildup of the Darkest Day storyline. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be getting ourselves a kick-ass arc in Pokemon Journeys 
very, very soon. The Darkest Day arc is soon going to descend upon us, and ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to see this go down. So let me know your thoughts down below, guys. What are your thoughts and opinions about this insane news? Whatever they happen to be, guys, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly guys, smash up in the comments down below because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will, then we're going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night depending on your time zone. And your boy, we'll see you guys in the next one.